Hi guys, welcome back to Practice Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sort a list of objects by multiple fields. So here I'm going to create a class of type person and this person will have three fields, name, age and salary. And I'm going to create a list of these persons and then I need to sort this list by multiple fields. So first I'm going to sort this list by age and if age is same, then I'm going to sort that by salary. And if the salary is same, then I'm going to sort the list by name. Okay, so here this list is going to be the input list. And then I will be getting the output something like this. So here you can see I have five objects. And here 25 is the age of two persons. So here I need to sort the list by their salary because age is same so here 45000 that means Suraj will be coming on top of Saurabh okay so first I will get the Yuraj and then I will get the Saurabh because both persons are having same age so I need to sort the employee by their salary and if the employee is having same age then I need to go for salary and if the salary is also same then I need to go for name so here you can see Rahul and Sachin both are having age as 30 and salary as 45,000 so I'll go and sort this by name so you can see Rahul has came before Sachin so this is the sorting order okay so I need to print output in this fashion so let's get started and let me show you how to do this so here as mentioned I'm going to create a class person and this person will have three parameters or three fields name age and salary now let me create the constructor getter setter and a two string function so here i'm going to use source generate getter setters i'll select all the fields and click on ok so this will give me the getter setters then i'll create constructor same way i will go to source and click on generate constructor using fields and I will click on OK. So here I will get the constructor using fields. Similarly, I will create a default constructor by removing all these parameters. So I will get the default constructor and then I will create a toasting method which will print the person object or it will give you a string representation of person object. So here again I am going to source then generate two string function i will select all the fields and then click on ok so i got all these constructor getter setter and two string function basically my person object is ready next thing is i need to create the list of persons so here i'm going to use list from java.util and this list is going to hold all the persons so i'm going to use list of persons so here i mark it as person list and then I'm going to use arrays dot as list to initialize this list with a list of person objects. So I'll simply copy this list of persons and I'll paste it here. Now I got the list of persons. Next thing is I need to sort these list elements by certain parameters or certain fields. So first field is going to be age. Okay, and I need to do this by writing stream APIs. So first thing that I need to do is I need to convert this list into stream. So I'm going to use stream function to convert this list into a stream. Okay, now I got the list uh, into a stream and then I need to sort this list. For that, I'm going to use sorted function. This sorted function can take a parameter which is comparator parameter. And this comparator parameter will help me to compare the objects by different fields. So here I'm going to use comparator and then dot comparing function. This comparing function takes a parameter which by which you need to sort or compare the objects. So here I need to compare the objects by age. So I'm going to use person dot get age okay so first thing what i did i converted this list into a stream and then i sorted this stream using sorted function 
and here I am passing the parameter as age. So first I will get the list to be sorted in or by the age field. Then next thing is then I'm going to compare if the age of two person objects is same, then I need to compare that by salary. So I'm going to use then comparing. And again, I'm going to pass a parameter which will be used for comparison. So here I need to sort the list by salary if the age is same. And again, I'm going to use then comparing if the salary of two objects is same, then I need to go for name. So here I'm going to use person and then get name. So this is a method reference operator, which will be used to invoke this function from this case. Okay. So now I have sorted the list by age, salary, and name. And finally, I'll collect the result into a list. So here I'm going to use collectors dot to list function to convert this into a list. Okay. Now I got the list. So what I will do, I will simply store this into a list of type person. So here I will take the result into a variable as sorted list. Okay. Now I got the list in sorted order and now simply print this list. So I'm going to use sorted list dot for each function to print the elements which are there in sorted list. So here I'm going to use system dot out and then print ln. So this will print the elements which are available inside this sorted list. So here S is capital. Okay. Now let me run this code and show you the output. So here you can see I got the sorted list. So you can see Yuvraj and Saurav has age as 25. So the list got sorted based on their salary. Then Rahul and Sachin had the age as 30. So the list will be sorted based on their salary, but if they both are having salary as 45,000. So salary is also same. So the list needs to be sorted by their name. As you can see, Rahul has came before Sachin because R comes before yes. Okay, so the list is sorted by multiple fields. First is age, then salary, and then name. Okay, guys, so that's it from this video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you need any assistance to crack the interviews, you can connect us at practice lab 23 at directgmail.com.